If you ask your organization's legal team, of course they'll tell you, yes, we absolutely need a disclaimer on every email sent. Hey, this is Colin, one of the liftoff guys, and in this video, I'll show you how to add a global disclaimer to every email leaving your Office 365 verified domain. First, log into your Office 365 account as the global administrator. From the Global Administrator's Office 365 admin screen, click Admin and then drop down and select Exchange. Move over to the left nav and select Mailflow. Now under Rules, select the plus sign and drop down and choose Apply Disclaimers. This will append a legal disclaimer to all email leaving your domain. You need to give it a name, so I will use Liftoff Global Disclaimer. Under the field that says Apply This Rule If, click the drop down and select Apply to All Messages. Now under the field that says Do the Following, click the drop down and select Append the Disclaimer. On the right side where it says Enter Text, click the hyperlink. Paste in your current global disclaimer or create a new one from scratch. I happen to have one here in Notepad. Click OK. On the right side here where it says select one, we are required to enter a fallback action in case the disclaimer can't be inserted for any reason. Click and choose wrap. Click OK. All the other default settings are usually pretty good. Click and save and you should be fine. Click yes. Here's what the global disclaimer looks like. As you can see, the standard formatting for the disclaimer can be a bit rough. Notice the lines are squished together and the font and text size are not very attractive. If you'd like to do advanced formatting on your disclaimer, the system accepts HTML tags and CSS styles. Go back to your global disclaimer text box and delete your previous disclaimer. You can put in whatever tags and styles you'd like. I'll just use this CSS style sheet here. I'm manipulating the font and font size of my disclaimer. I'll also put in a line break tag to separate my disclaimer from the rest of the email message. Copy and paste the new disclaimer into the text box and click OK. Now let's have a look at our new formatted disclaimer. Looks good, right? Feel free to experiment with the tagging or use the standard disclaimer.